After 82 years in service, Fire Hall No. 1 in Cranbrook is undergoing a major transformation, from a deserted fire hall to a kitchen and tap house. It will be known as Fire Hall Kitchen and Tap, and is the vision of entrepreneurs Jesse Roberts and Fred Williams, who, after a long process, can finally put their plan into motion. It's all kinds of terrifying, exciting, uh, can't sleep, like it's real. Um, and uh, for, for a long time, a lot of hours, a lot of work, it was just a dream. The building has been sitting vacant since the Cranbrook Fire Department moved out in 2011. In 2015, the city would put it up for sale, and just over two years later, they would find their buyer. For us, we weren't using it anymore. Uh, it was becoming more of a liability with some of the structural issues that uh, we were faced with it and uh, the amount of money to put into it. So we thought selling it would be a way that uh, somebody could take over the building fix it up and hopefully utilize it to generate some revenue. As part of the deal, the building's facade will need to remain intact in an effort to preserve its historical significance. Inside, a complete overhaul is required to give the building structural improvements, new plumbing, electrical and HVAC at an estimated cost of $700,000, an investment these two were willing to make. The building belongs to Cranbrook. It, it, it should be restored and without, it, without that sort of investment, this building would go away within the next few years. So, Williams with a background in construction and restoration and Roberts, the owner-operator of a local restaurant, took on their biggest project yet. It's certainly a, something I wouldn't do on my own, without a doubt. Uh, I think Jesse and I see each other's blind spots in a lot of ways. Um, we, he has natural talents that, that he's better at and, and vice versa. So I think having, having both of us involved is, is essential to making it work. Originally built in 1929, the hall houses a number of historical artifacts, including firefighter signatures dating back to 1946, and a table which is believed to be the original city council table. We thought it was a really neat table. We were fighting over whose house it got to be in. Um, but now that we found out the sort of historical significance, we're really excited to include and incorporate it into the building. There's also a personal connection for Roberts, whose father actually lived in the building. He drove the ambulance and, uh, and that allowed him to live in the building. So it was kind of neat taking him on his first tour of the building after 57 years and he got to point out the little patch of floor that he, he got to sleep on. Once complete, the design and decor will tell the story of the building. Every corner you look around, there is a, a really neat, creative way to, to do something with the, the bones of this building. There's a lot of painted brick in here that will be exposed. We've uncovered a lot of old uh, roughs on timbers that we're going to make sure that get utilized. It's going to be sort of a little bit industrial, and it's going to be old, it's going to be heritage, and it's going to be cool. Phase one of the project will include the Tap House restaurant on the main floor, a conference room upstairs, and two patios one of which will overlook Rotary Park. Cranbrook doesn't have a lot of patios and we have, you know, oftentimes more sunshine than any other place in British Columbia. So we, that's something that we want to do really, really well. If all goes according to plan, Fire Hall Kitchen and Tap should be open for business in the spring of 2018. For the community producers in Cranbrook, I'm Jared Gross.